Hi everyone, it's Karis. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are not, welcome back. Right now I'm actually in the living room, if you can see all this stuff behind me. That's because the lighting was so much better down here, so now I can finally get like a nice clear video with good lighting. So for today's project, I actually made a bag. What is it? What is that? Get off. I finished this bag. It is super cute. I am in love with it. One of the things that I want to do that I have never done before is line a bag. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I got this really pretty fabric. It's like this pink rose colored satin. I don't really know what you would call that. Anyway, I thought it would look really good with this because this is the only fabric that I have. I don't really want to go buy more fabric. So this is what we're working with and it looks pretty good with this. I'm already kind of half way there. <laughs> I already cut out what I needed for the bag. I watched one video on this already, so yeah, I'm an expert. So basically you just put the bag over the fabric and then you cut around it and leave like half an inch to make this seam. And then on the bottom, you don't really have to leave that because there's already a fold here, so there's not gonna be a seam there. And then I also wanted a pocket, so I also cut that out already and sewed that together, but I haven't attached it to the actual bag. And as you can see here, I'm using stitch markers to attach the pocket to the fabric. Again, this is the first time I've ever done this. I watched one video on this. So yeah, I'm just going to attach the pocket and then I am going to work on the inseam. There's probably gonna be a fancy little uh, time lapse and yeah. <laughs> you guys this looks horrible <laughs> in the video that i watched and like i said i only watched one video which is probably part of the problem but she sewed down her little pocket edges the inseams of the edges and then sewed them to the back but it just it looks so ugly like it just uh, it is not looking good so I rewatched the video and the problem was what I did was sew the lining to the pocket before I just kind of folded it over and all she did was just like iron it in place and then she put it on the bag and then sewed it so there's only like one sew line. So that was my mistake because I didn't actually pay attention to that fully so I just wasted a whole bunch of time and I might just kind of take this pocket out, cut all of the stitches I just made to attach to the fabric, cut out a new pocket and then attach it. Okay I got my iron right here and again I don't really know what kind of fabric this is. I don't don't know if it's satin. I just kind of picked out one that was pretty at the store a long time ago. So, so I just grabbed these uh, dish thingies, the heat pad mat things. I'm just gonna put that on here and iron it and see if it stays. And then if it does stay and it doesn't ruin the fabric, then we'll iron the other pocket. Otherwise, I think I might just kind of scrap the pocket idea because right now it is too much of a pain. So we're just gonna go from there. <laughs> this is so janky. <laughs> Don't come at me in the comments, please. I can't tell. Does that look ruined at all? I don't know. Bad idea or good idea? I can't tell. I suppose I could just cut out a pocket and kind of roll with it. So this actually worked pretty good, not too bad. It doesn't look like the fabric is ruined at all. So now I'm going to attach it to the bag, hopefully. On this episode of doing things the hard way because I'm too broke to do things the right way, we are sewing a pocket to a liner and then a liner to a handbag using stitch markers instead of pins because who can afford pens, not me, and hand sewing because who can afford a sewing machine? You guessed it, not me. I need a sewing machine. I need a sewing machine. Bleh. <laughs> oh my goodness, could you stop? <laughs> I actually used a sewing machine too when I was a kid. I had, uh, in high school, I had a sewing class that I had to take. The main thing I remember is that I absolutely hated using the sewing machine because every time I used it, I would always get the stuff tangled up and I'd have to like cut the yarn and like redo it. And it was just a huge mess. And I'm not really sure what the problem was because I don't remember it too much. 
But I'm sure if I were to try again, knowing what I know now, I'd probably still end up with the same problems, which is usually why I always opted for hand sewing because I know that I'm not gonna mess this up that much, but it's also super time consuming and so tedious. Oh, I have so much more to go. Does it look Louis Vuitton yet? I know it does. I know it looks like the best hand sewing you've ever seen. Immaculate, nothing wrong with it at all. Do they even sew anything? Was that the right analogy? <laughs> I think they do. They make clothes and stuff, right? I don't know. I'm poor. I don't know things like that. <laughs> no, don't do this to me now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I fix this? Can I fix this? Uh, no, please, please. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what the sewing machine would do to me too. Oh my goodness. No. Why? Just flatten, please. Yes. Aha! We just finished adding the pocket to the bag. Finally, it looks so much better. And now what I need to do is sew the edges together. I'm not really sure if this like satiny kind of fabric is the best choice as a liner for a bag, but I'm just gonna kind of roll with it. We finally finished sewing the hem of this bag insert. Now I'm going to fit it into here. That's upside down, into here. Okay, so this is about as far down as it'll go in the base of the bag. And there's quite a bit extra here. I know I need some to like sew down the edges and stuff to the bag, but it looks like there's a lot more than just a little bit. So I might end up just trimming off maybe half an inch or so from the top up here, maybe not over here, but over here definitely has a lot. <laughs> so I might trim that off just a little bit and then I'm going to thin this down first and then sew it to the inside. Guys, I'm almost done. Look at this, look at this. Nice and beautiful. I just have this much more to go. I'm pretty sure I've been doing this for like 20 minutes now. <laughs> just trying to sew the edges on the back. So yeah, that's been fun. It is now properly lined. It took forever. I think it took me like two hours to get everything all sewn. I am happy with how it came out. I'm happy with the overall thing. And that pink just goes really good with this red. Like it was just a really good color combination. So I'm glad that I had that fabric in there, but this is the inside of the bag. I'll have to like give you guys a different view because it's kind of hard to show you the inside of it, but it's got its pocket in there too. And the pocket works really good so one of these days when i get an actual when i get my s words when i get my sewing machine <laughs> then i will probably do this again until then i probably won't do this again by hand that was mm, testing my patience there it's super cute i'm really excited about this it's really nice <laughs> Okay, anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming along and hanging out with me while I worked my way through putting a lining on the inside of this crochet bag the hard way. If you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to leave it a like and subscribe because I do come out with a new video every week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.
I just turned it into a massive mess by doing that. Okay, I got my iron here and oh my god, I got so close to my face. Oh my goodness. I never thought that my patience would be put up to this much of a test, but I don't know if I'm going to withstand this one or not. Oh my goodness, can we just... Okay, thank you. I want you to do that. No, that. That. Just like that. Yep. Okay. It's gonna work. I don't know. Ah, ow. <laughs> Stabby much? 